$1,000 fine. Big changes are in store at the museum, at the IMS Museum. Today, we got another look inside the $64 million renovation that's underway at the Speedway. That's a big price tag. And IMS has a new way to raise funds for the future. The Speedway collected 11 rare vintage cars. Now they're selling them to the highest bidder. CBS4's Hannah Fullman shows us how much these pieces of history could be worth. As you can see, crews are hard at work preparing for the grand reopening of the IMS Museum. But before those renovations are unveiled, race fans have a chance to be a part of an auction of a lifetime. We're going to sell 11 cars that are in our collection but really have no connection to the 500, anything that's happened here at the track. The IMS Museum partnered with RM Sotheby's to make all this happen, auctioning off what they're calling some of the world's most desirable and historically significant cars. This includes a 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196 Streamliner Monza, a 1964 Ferrari 250 LM, and a 1966 Ford GT40 Mark II. The main response that I've gotten consistently from people is, boy, it's a very prudent thing that you're doing because in essence, you're, you are guaranteeing the future of this museum for generations to come. The announcement of the auction comes at a time when the museum is in full renovation mode. We found out that we had enough room to put a mezzanine up here. The $64 million project is the first major renovation inside these walls in nearly 40 years. That's why these select cars are going up for auction, to better fit the future vision of the museum. They simply never were in the 500. They never raced here. They have no connection to the 500, but they're very valuable cars, obviously. The auction is expected to raise more than $100 million. This will not go toward the ongoing museum renovations, but instead an endowment to help fund the museum's future. We can use that endowment to buy more winning cars, to enhance our collection. We can also use it to take care of the cars that we have. The cars will be auctioned off in the next few months ahead of the museum's grand reopening in April. For now, reporting inside the museum, Hannah Fullman, CBS 4 News. Cancer rates